Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. Today we're going to start a new, probably a shorter let's play on a game called Drill Down. I requested a key from the developer on this, uh, for this game many, many months ago. And that request was granted and I just haven't gotten around to playing. But uh, I have played a little bit and it is quite a bit of fun. Let's jump right in and see what this is all about. We're going to play the tutorial first. It's super duper short. And then we'll start a new game. Okay, it says, Welcome to Drill Down. This tutorial will guide you through the first basic steps of the game. After that, you can keep playing or start your very own game. The goal of the game is to manufacture highly complex computer chips. Click on these messages to go to the next one. Okay, boom. Okay, the world of Drill Down is made up of layers, one of which the surface layer we're currently viewing. Maybe you'll discover techniques to gain access to layers deeper down and possibly discover hidden treasures. Layers are of equal size and feature a grid-like structure. So if I zoom out, you can kind of see this is the size of a layer. Uh, and I think this grid extends all the way out. I'm not sure why there's a grid here and then there isn't grid out here, but that's a layer, I believe, the whole layer. Let's continue on. Okay, the building at the center of the map is your storage. Your starting building materials are stored here. When you're constructing new buildings, all the needed building materials need to be in some storage. The blue bar on the storage shows how full it is. All right, so here's our storage. There's our little blue bar. And if we click on it, we can see what's in there. 20 stone, 40 wood, and 40 scaffolding. And then we're 100 filled out of a 200 capacity. Uh, this sense is worth calling attention to. When you're constructing new buildings, whoops, you're, the materials that you're using to construct them have to be in storage. So they can't just be sitting in... Uh, one of your factory machines that we'll see here in a bit. All right, in the top left corner, you can pause and unpause the game and access the game menu. You can see the your total amount of every stored resource in the upper right corner. Okay, so there we are, 20 stone, 40 wood, 40 scaffolding. Next. Okay, first we need a steady supply of stone, the most basic of building materials. The build menu opens up by tapping on the button at the bottom center of the screen. So go ahead and select from the build menu category called raw resources, the building called mine. All right, here's our little build button. Click that, select raw resources, select mine. The size, building cost, description, and production of the selected building are shown below. Recipes are chosen at random based on the requirements fulfilled. You can swipe through the recipes to see what can be produced. The mine produces resources from the ore veins below it. Click on the mine at the top again to start building. Okay, here's what they're talking about, swiping through the resources. So a mine can produce stone, dirt, clay, and ore. And you can see there's different production times for each one of these and different quantities that come out on each cycle. And I believe you can't set it. This isn't, you're not setting a recipe here. It's going to automatically choose at random which recipe to... Uh, do and that has some consequences that we'll see later okay click on the mine at the top again to start building boom okay now place the mine on the green highlighted area by clicking there the output should point upwards after the initial placement you can drag the building indicator around to adjust its location then to actually construct the building click it again okay one click there drag it around to where you want it it's it's actually right where we want it and click it again to build it boom Okay, the mine is now running and busy mining stone until its own storage is full. However, there is no, there's no way for that stone to leave the mine and enter your storage or any further processing building. For this, you now need to build conveyors. Open the build menu and choose conveyors in transport. All right, here's transport, boom, conveyor. Uh, I selected it, I thought, okay. Build the conveyors as indicated to connect the mine and the storage. Conveyors, tubes, and cables are built in piece by piece by clicking. By clicking two different locations, you can enable the assist mode, where you can build longer tracks by positioning two end markers by clicking and dragging. Click on either marker to construct it all in one go. Okay, this is a little, um, the description's a little confusing there. I just right clicked. Let's escape out of that. Nope. 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 How do I cancel out? 
Yeah, I thought I right clicked and I got something I didn't want. I think I can drag these. So let's drag. This looks like the destination. I can drag that over there. This looks like the source. Drag that over there. I'm just primary clicking and dragging. There's our conveyor. That's what we want. And then it says click on either marker to construct it all in one go. So let's, there it goes. Boom. You know, it says, whoops, the direction of those conveyors don't seem to be completely right. To correct the wrong orientation of conveyors or tubes, you can click on them and use the rotate button to rotate them. Please go ahead and first in the construction mode by pressing on the red button. Then correct the conveyor directions. Okay, in construction mode, boom. We're going to click on this guy and just hit the R key. You know, or we could have used that pop-up, I imagine. Very cool. One quick last thing. Using the other bottom at the bottom center, you can destroy buildings. Or use the delete key. And get some of the building materials back. But that should be all for this tutorial. You can now go ahead and either continue this game or start fresh via the game menu. You can replay this tutorial at any time through the main menu. Boom, we're done. All right. That is pretty much the tutorial, right? They're just showing us how to place a <laughs> place building and place conveyors. And then they mention that in order to build something, you've got to have the materials in your storage. Let's start a new game. Uh, do you want to save your current game first? Nope. Uh, I think I can type in anything here. I'm going to go Glider Cat. A level C. Just press OK if you don't know what this means. I know what it means. Kind of. <laughs> All right, here we are. We have a new map. We know how to build a mine for stone, and we know how to build conveyors. So how do we get started in this game? This is, I'm going to explain my approach, which is a completely novice amateur approach. Um, but it's just what I kind of figured out. So if we click on the build menu, the first question is, what do we want to build? We saw that uh, we got to have materials in storage to do any construction. So let's see what our options are here. We saw transports already. There's a conveyor. There's a conveyor bridge, which allows two conveyors to cross each other. Okay, makes sense. A brick channel can withstand extreme heat of molten metal flowing over it. So that's like a, almost like a conveyor for molten metal. We'll get to that, I suppose. What else we got? Logistics has a funnel. Filters out unwanted items to the side and can only be placed at the inputs of buildings. All right, keep that in mind. Storage, we're kind of familiar with that. Let's look at what it takes. It takes stone, it takes stone brick. We don't have any stone brick. Uh, scaffolding, we have some in inventory. And then it provides 200 storage. Okay. Uh, raw resources, we kind of saw this. There's a mine, there's a lumberjack. This one takes iron ingots. We don't have those yet. We'll have to learn how to make them. Grows and fells trees outside, drill down, and transports the wood back down. Because we're kind of underground. Uh, carpenter uses wood to make scaffolding. Okay, so that's a building material. We're going to obviously need this. And it takes iron ingots and it takes wood. We can't do either of those yet. And we got a stone mason. Cut stone into nice square bricks, producing leftover gravel. So this one, you put in stone, you get bricks, but you got this byproduct you got to deal with. And we haven't seen anything about how to dump resources we don't want. So there's an issue there. Let's see what we have for ore processing. That seems like an obvious place to start. We've got a kiln. This takes 10 dirt to construct it, 10 stones, and it's going to produce bricks for us. Burns clay into solid ceramic bricks using any coal type fuel. Oh, we got to provide fuel as well into this machine. Fuel and clay. Takes stone and dirt to build it. Once it's built, we feed it coal and clay, and we get little bricks out. Maybe they're not little, I don't know. Furnace takes 10 bricks to build it along with stone. Stone's easy. We saw how to do that. And then we pass in ore along with some fuel, which I'm guessing is coal for the most part. Maybe wood. And you get the molten metal, and that's what we would put on those channels. Remember that conveyor that was like a brick channel or something? That must be how we move the molten metal. Okay, smelts raw ore into molten metal using any coal-type fuel. And then ingot mode, that's probably pretty self-explanatory. Just take stone... Pass in the liquid metal, out comes the ingots. No byproducts. Pretty cool. 30 seconds per cycle. Last one, we got miscellaneous. 
Science Lab. Take scaffolding and the bricks. Play around with technology and see what neat stuff you can discover. So I'm guessing this uh, science lab is something that's going to unlock a bunch more machines for us. That might be something we think about going for first, actually. So the way I played this, and it's been months since I even tried it. Um, I just played for about 15 minutes before starting the series. So we're going to discover how to play this together. But my idea for how to go about it is look for something you want to build and then follow that production chain back till you can actually build it. So in this case, Science Lab seems to make sense. I think that's going to open up more building options for us. So it seems to make sense to me to get that started early. I don't, it doesn't show, once we build it, it doesn't really show what it needs to maintain it. I don't know if it needs power or coal or resource or what. But we can see we need 10 scaffolding. We have 40 to work with. Um, we might want to think about creating that before we run out of scaffolding. Then the other is the stone bricks. So let's look at the for processing. And where was it that we got stone bricks? That was this guy, wasn't it? Stone bricks. And we got a byproduct. We're going to need a stonemason. And that's going to take 10 iron ingots, wood, which we don't have, and it's going to use up more scaffolding. So maybe that, that seems like a lot, right, to take on. Maybe we can't do that one right off the bat. We would definitely, we would need wood. That might be something to go after. So lumberjack takes stone and iron ingots. So we can't get wood until we have iron ingots. So it looks like the ingot part's going to be easy. This part needs bricks. So I guess we'll start with iron ingots, right? So I'm just kind of working my way back from like, what do we need to start with? It looks like the kiln is going to get us, the kiln's going to get us the bricks that allow us to build the furnace that allow us to build the, um, the ingot mold, or at least make use of the ingot mold. We could build that now. So let's do this. Let's get stone and let's get dirt into our storage. Here's our storage. Stone's pretty easy, right? We saw how to do that. Let's just do it. Mine. Okay. We click it again, place it, and then rotate it. Is there a way to move this? I don't think there's a way to make this mirror image. No. So let's, uh, let's move this like here, click it to build it. And then let's go into transports, bears. Okay. Move over. I think I just have to click it again. You, to you, to you. And now we're getting stone. We need dirt is the other part. This looks like dirt. We need to get that into storage. So let's place another mine. Now, if I place this, well, let's just drop it down. If I place this over here, like say I place it here, just covering one corner of dirt. This thing I think is going to kick out three rocks, then a dirt, then three rocks, then a dirt, three rocks, then a dirt. We could have probably gotten by with just one mine in this case. But I want just pure dirt coming out of here. So I'm going to plunk this guy down where the four tiles underneath it are all dirt. Because again, we can't, I'm pretty sure you can't pick the recipe. I think it will just produce whatever it has underneath it. And then you have to worry about filtering and sorting those things on your own. All right, we'll see more of that as we go. There's our dirt mine. Let's get a conveyor for this. Okay, conveyor, click it twice, start location. I think we can just join into this guy. Let's try it. Boop, there and there. I just had to click it. Maybe it doesn't, does it not like it there? Oh, maybe I got to get out of this. Nope, try it again. Conveyor, conveyor. 
Start. I think I can go right over to here. Should be able to. There it goes. Not sure why it didn't work the first time. Now we've got dirt and we've got stone being produced and sent into storage. I've only got four stone after building all these conveyors. So we'll let both of these run. I don't want to fill up our inventory because uh, once we run out of space, we're in trouble and we can't make more storages yet. Right? We don't have the, the materials. We need the stone bricks and scaffolding. All right, so what we wanted to build with this material was the kiln, right? So we need two more dirt and we'll be good to go. Burns clay into solid ceramic bricks. We need to be near coal and we need to be near, be near clay. I'm going to pause our dirt mine. It's going to hit ZZZ on that. Again, I'm just... Until we get more storages, I don't want to overfill it. I'm going to let the stone mine run because we use stone for conveyors. Um, I know we need it, so let's let that guy run, but I'll turn off the dirt. Now we need to find a place where clay, there's iron ore, there's fuel. I think we need fuel. There's copper fuel and clay nearby. See, there's clay. I'm looking for a deposit that's got four squares next to each other. That's going to make life a little easier for us early on. There's a spot right there. We got four, four clay deposits or squares right next to each other. And then we're going to need to pump in coal. There's coal way over here where we've got four in a row, four squares next to each other. I think that's going to be a little easier to start that way. Let's do it. Let's put down a mine for clay. Boom. Boom. Rotate this guy, maybe. That. There's clay. Coal. Yeah, we're still producing stone. Good. Coal, I'm going to start over here. Let's grab it. Rotate this guy. Later, we won't need to worry so much about finding deposits where there's four next to each other, but early on, I think this actually helps to do it this way. It guarantees the product that we're going to get out of the mine. All right, we've got coal. We've got clay. We should have the ability to build that kiln now. That was in, or processing, kiln. Okay, burns clay into solid ceramic bricks. Whoops. Double click, pick a spot. Anywhere, really. We may send this back in. Um. Pull in this way, clay out that way. You know, clay in the top and bricks out the side. That's not a bad spot, actually. I'll take it. Let's do belts. We've got 10 stone. We may run out of belts. There. Here comes our coal. And then clay's got to come through the top, but we're going to have to wait a little bit for some more stone, looks like. Doing good on scaffolding. We still have 32. There again. You over to you. You're not going to make it, probably. Oh, maybe that's why it wasn't working last time. We need 29 stone. Uh, can I speed up time? I don't know. I don't think I can. I thought there was a way to speed up time. Hmm... Is there? I don't even see options. I don't think so. Log report, auto screenshots, see if you... All right, we'll let this thing run for a second. Kill that. We need some more stone to get produced. 
could set up another mine for that. Let's see, what do these take? Are these expensive? Uh, they take up scaffolding. I kind of don't want to waste scaffolding if I can help it, because we don't we don't have a way of making that yet. Meanwhile, coal is trickling in. Let's take a look while we're waiting. What's going to come after the bricks? I think we're going to make this furnace, right? That's going to take 15 more stone and 10 bricks. But these bricks, in order for us to use them for construction, we have to belt this output all the way down into our storage until we can make more storage. Can we make a one storage? No, not till we get the stone bricks. So we're kind of limited in the early game as to what we can do. Tempted to make another stone mine just for speed purposes. 24. Yeah, these things are kind of far apart. Um, Let's do it. In the interest of time, let's do it. I don't have a way to speed things up. Fine. Boom. Boom. Bayer, double click. U, over to you. Click. Yeah, that chewed up some stone to build, probably, but we'll produce it twice as fast now. We gotta get the clay all the way over here. We need four more stone. There they go. They're heading in right now. Boom. Should let us build. Okay. Comes the clay and the coal. You can see the coal is now starting to back up on this belt. That's fine. But we need a belt to bring our bricks all the way down. Probably just like that. Just like that. We need 22. We've got 8. Oh man, I could have sworn there was a command to move this forward, though. Could be mistaken. It's been, like I said, it's been quite a while since I played. Waiting on 22. There go four more. Alright, two more after this batch. There is some pretty nice music to this game. I have it turned off just for copyright claims. I don't know if it's uh, copyright music that's safe for me to include on the videos. And if, it, if I get a copyright claim, then I have to take off all the sound and we won't hear the mining or any of the anything going on. So that's why I've kind of turned it off. Unfortunately, it's just one of those things with YouTube. All right, now we can see our kiln is fired up. Let me get out of the build menu here so I don't place belts I don't need. If we click, we can see... Can we see the inventory? I'm not sure. Waiting for inputs. Looks like it's waiting for clay to come in. We got our first bricks. Let's... Uh, let's think about where we're going to put the next item. That would be the furnace. We got our stone, we just got it. Now we need to wait for 10 bricks. This guy's gonna take ore and coal. I believe fuel. I'm not sure if that can be wood. It might be. Coal production is slow. So we wanna have coal and ore nearby. There's ore. Coal is awfully slow, but we could, I think, run a conveyor and split this supply. We don't have any other coal that's... Oh, there's a coal up here. It's not great. It's not near any iron that's uh, consolidated. Some iron there. Uh, that's all kind of scattered. 
And again, if I put a mine over a block, over a four block space that has two different ores, that mine's going to produce two different ores as it, as it mines. Later we can, I think we have a way of dealing with that, but early on I don't think we do. So I'm trying to first focus on these deposits that have four uh, next to each other. Well, should we split this coal? I think maybe we'll try that. We know we need iron ore. Let's put a mine down for that. And we can have it... Sh the output go up. That's fine. Well, if we need to, we can always replenish this... This belt. Let's see if I can run. Or let's place... I'm sorry. Let's place our... Furnace. Can we do that yet? Nope. We're still waiting on a few more bricks. What are we doing on stone? Stone's at 48. And our storage... We're doing okay on storage space. I think... I'm not too worried about having too much stone. I think we'll be alright with that. We're going to put a huge belt in here pretty soon. Right now we're just waiting on clay bricks. So we can build our furnace. And that's going to allow us to smelt metals. Ah, I see copper and uh, iron on this map. I'm not sure if there's more ore to come. There's some copper deposits. In fact, we're going to have to deal with that filtering. I don't... Oh, here's a copper deposit that's got four next to each other. All right, that is good. I think that's going to help us. Okay, can we build our furnace yet? Not yet. We need 10 bricks. We got nine. Next batch coming out of our kiln here to do it for us. Wait for these guys to find their way into storage. Then we can use them. So we produced them. And just to verify, I cannot make that furnace until those bricks, even though we've got them produced, until they make it into storage, they're not available for us to uh, build with. We'll wait for these guys to slide on down. Meanwhile, our iron mine is trying to do some mining. I suppose we could do a little mini conveyor on this guy, just to give him a belt to output some product on. Oh, we're waiting. Okay. Looks like we're in storage. Let's find a place for the furnace. We got the iron there. We said we're going to probably pull from this coal belt. Let's see how this works. Molten metal is going to come out the bottom. The iron ore wants to come in the top. We have that, that ability to do those crossover belts. We may get into a situation where we have to do that probably soon. Uh, where can we put this out of the way? I'm not sure. Let's pop this guy here. We'll route coal down the side. I think we can split this. We'll find out. Uh, was this it? This it. That was the coal input, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, skip out of that. Get out of the build menu. Well, let's... Conveyor. This guy, I think, needs to come into here. Not like that, though. Not like that. I guess we can drag this where we want it. Um, how about, that's a little bit more reasonable. You, up to you. Look at it again for its take. Now we got molten metal. We're going to need to use the 
molten channel to, or the brick channel here to move that molten metal and we want to send it into the next building which we should be able to build right now that is the ingot mold boom this can go anywhere let's rotate that a couple more times that looks reasonable in fact we could move it even closer do it conveyors oh we need the brick channel for this right boom to boom to boom and then just a conveyor I think to get those ingots into storage you over to you okay there's also a trick we can do here so you know I was talking about how we can't build our own storages yet we can take one of these belts. Let's, let's get out of the build mode. Click here and rotate this. Like that. And now this clay brick, we'll, we can have kind of like a little inventory, but not fill up our storage with it. We could do similar things with stone, but I think we're gonna be fine on stone. We could snooze one of those. What are we doing on storage? We've got 50 left. Let's... Let's try that trick here. So we'll get a little bit of stone queued up. And not much. A little bit here that we can redirect. And we'll let this guy keep going for... Or let's pause this guy too. And just let him go. Or better yet... Better yet. Better yet. Let's rotate this block. And then we can rehook these up once we need more stone. I just don't want to fill up that inventory completely until we have the ability to make it. Okay, so now we've got our steel ingots or iron ingots coming through. Pretty cool. Let's see what else we can do. We looked at wanting to do wood, if I'm not mistaken. Three iron ingots and stone. And then this guy just produces wood, grows and fells trees outside of drill down and transports the woods, the wood back down. So that would be a constant source of wood. It doesn't cost much. And then we can use that, build the carpenter. That'll get us a supply of scaffolding just from the wood. That's going to be handy to have. So let's do it. Wood, this is going to take some of those iron ingots too. So let's start with the lumberjack if we can. Can we make this guy? Looks like we can. I think we can put this anywhere. Anywhere we want. And it's going to produce just wood. We have wood, then scaffolding. Take a look one more time. And think through how we want to do that. Whoops, wrong one. Lumberjack's going to get us the wood. We're going to feed wood in, and that's it. Get scaffolding. And then we want to send that scaffolding into storage so we can make use of it. So maybe over here, looks like, because we can put the wood building anywhere. Let's do it. I'd almost rather put the carpenter down first, just so we know what's going where. But we got to wait for iron ingots to get produced. We've only got four so far fifth one's coming in we need six to place the carpenter and the reason I'm waiting is I'm thinking we'll put the carpenter somewhere near this output belt or this belt that's heading into storage and then right next to it we can put wood and feed almost right next to that carpenter building then we'll be good so we just gotta wait for this little ironing it to slide into storage so we can make use of it there's our stone backing up in case we need it. It's kind of like a little temporary inventory of it. Same thing with the clay bricks. We'll let that keep producing. Oh, looks like we can't do what I thought we could do with the coal, huh? I thought that was going to split the belt. We don't have that yet. Filters out the unwanted items to the side. That's not going to do it for us. We need to get to a splitter. We may have to hand toggle this coal supply for a bit. Or we could hook up another miner over on this coal deposit. 
All right, we got our ironing. Let's stay focused on that for now. I want the carpenter first, I think. Oh, I can't. It takes... It takes wood. Oh, we started out with 40 wood. Uh, let's do it. And you are going to go somewhere over here. We'll rotate this guy. So the output is heading towards our belt that's going into storage. Because we're going to want to route that that scaffolding into storage for sure. So boom for that. That's good. Let's do transport conveyors. You into you. That works. I just can't split. Shoot. I was hoping that would split between these two, but I'm sure there's a splitter coming. All right, now we got to wait for, I think, one more iron ingot to be produced. There it is. And we can set up the lumberjack right next to the carpenter. Doesn't take any inputs, just produces logs out of the thin air. That's good for us. Here's our ingot. It's there. Boom. Um, That might work. Let's just see if we can route a belt this way. Can I take it from here to here? Yep. So we can see the logging taking place here, the little progress bar at the bottom. We can hear the carpenter hammering away. Let's see how this works. And then we'll probably call this an episode first episode we're off to a decent start there goes a lot <laughs> there goes the logs one at a time but it's a one-to-one -one for scaffolding now this one i don't have as much space to do a buffer do i like may might have made sense to leave a little bit of belt there so we could turn a belt sideways if we wanted to and have this situation where we can have a little bit of inventory without filling up our warehouse because we, we're not able to build warehouses yet Although, let's see, what's that going to take? Uh, storage, that's going to take, yeah, the stone bricks. So we're working towards that. Let's see this guy kick out some scaffolding and then we'll call it. Okay, hey, out it comes. Very good, very good. So, not a bad start. What do we do this episode? Ton. We're mining coal. We're producing clay bricks, obviously mining coal, mining clay as a part of that. We've got a furnace going, smelting iron ore. We've got a ingot mold making iron ingots for us. Two stone mines, we have them both kind of paused effectively right now. And we've got an iron mine, a dirt mine, which we have that on sleep right now. We're not sure if we're gonna need it. I guess I could, oh. My little strategy is a little problematic here, isn't it? Um, as this dirt's going to want to use the same input route as this stone that's backed up. Let's turn this and at least get this guy going. Might as well let him produce some dirt in case we need it. Yeah, let's wrap it here. We will pick it up uh, next episode and see about getting what was the next thing we wanted to do that's all taken care of oh the stone mason that's next we need to just save up some ingots so we're halfway there pick it up next episode for analysis glider cat saying thanks so much for watching if you enjoy this content and like seeing new games please do give this video a thumbs up that helps my tiny channel grow also special thanks to glider cat patrons and channel members really really appreciate your support you're helping to keep this channel alive greatly greatly appreciate that and i'll see you all in the next episode